Hello, good afternoon, compliments of the season, and welcome to Lagos Today, coming to you live on Lagos Television. I am Ajibola Ojeshola. Um, anywhere you go now, not only in Lagos, people are already shopping here and there for Christmas as well as New Year. Um, for those who are looking for a peaceful environment, serene environment for you to shop, uh, Lagos Television premises is a place uh, to be. Uh, we have quite a number of things for children, for mummies, daddies, and of course, um, at the back of our blue roof here, we also have an avenue for you to come and um, cool off and of course hang out with your friend uh, with ample space for you to park. And of course, our environment here is very secure. That's not why we are here this afternoon. The show, like I said, is Lagos Today. And you already know what we do. Uh, we talk about Lagos and of course, um, anything, everything Lagos is our business on this show. Uh, we have a particular segment on this program where we give you tips on how to live uh, a good life and of course manage your health. So this afternoon, uh, we are focusing on health. And what are we discussing today is um, the prospect of stem cell, stem cell therapy, yeah. Uh, stem cell therapy is a regenerative medicine and it's in vogue, but many of us uh, are not aware uh, what exactly is this about? How does it work? Is it expensive? Like some of us have been made to believe these are some of the issues we'll be looking at on the program today. Prospect of stem cell therapy is our focus today on the program. We take a very short break on Lagos today. When we come back, I will be starting my conversation with my guests on the program. That was Lagos history, and today we focused on Tafawa Balewa Square here in Lagos. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome to Lagos today, this afternoon, Victor Amovie. Amovie. I hope I got the name right. Amovie. <laughs> Amovie. Okay, he's a natural health expert, and he will be telling us uh, all the need, all the things that we need to do and know about uh, stem cell therapy. Uh, let me start by asking you that, uh, what exactly is this uh, therapy all about? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank you for giving me the chance to be here. You're welcome. Uh, the stem cell therapy is a new face of medicine, which a lot of people are still unaware of. And it's basically the use of cells to treat the human body. Mm. So it's um, in the field of regenerative medicine it's not the conventional supplements that people are aware of, okay. or drugs, or even herbal medicine, or probably through surgical means, but basically the use of cells. Um, the idea is that cells are the fundamental unit of every life, uh, every living organism. So basically, uh, there's something called stem cells that are inside every living thing. Plants have it, animals have it, and even, um, of course, humans have it. And um, these things are placed there by God, if I'm using, permitted to use those languages, so that they can help in regenerating the damaged cells in the body or lost cells in the body and repair the damaged cells in the body in every part of the human body, both eyes, brain, skin, blood, bone, and the entire body. Mm. So with this concept, scientists also got to understand that when um, people fall sick or they have health challenges, like, let's take, for example, um, let's say diabetes, a lot of people know that the pancreas, which is the organ, is failing. 
So a lot of people engage in drug taking, which is not bad. The only thing is that with excess intake of drugs, you may not really get the results you need, as insulin injection or the rest, where it deputizes on behalf of the, of the pancreas. So it's not, it does the work of trying to drop the sugar level. But when you take stem cell therapy, it goes into the pancreas or any organ that is damaged and begins to regenerate it, begins to put it back to life so that it can work. Uh, when you say regenerate, does it make uh, one feel younger? You could say that, yes. It's more like an anti-aging um, effect. Yes, it gives that, e that effect, yes. Mm. It does. Okay, uh, so you said it's quite different from the conventional medicine that we know. How does it work? I know that, you know, okay. all of us are laymen when it comes to this. You are the expert. <laughs> uh, you need to break it down in such a way that um, an average Lagosian will understand. Understand it. Okay, um, it took me time to understand it, so I had to do my own research. I met some doctors, nurses, and to my great uh, surprise, a lot of people just got to understand about stem cells basically with textbooks. You know, uh, when you're talking about stem cells, the idea is this. Um, the human body is made up of cells, right? Every single part of the body. Whether the bones, the brain, the blood, white blood cells, the kidney, I can mention all the parts of the body, even the hair, right? So when we are born, we are very agile. As a normal child, we're very agile, we're very strong. All the cells in our body are active. But with time, with the kind of food we eat, lifestyle, as well as aging, these cells begin to, of course, they die. Cells normally die. Mm -hmm. So when they die, new cells are reborn to replenish the lost cells. For example, my skin, I lose cells every, we lose cells every day. Let's take for my, my skin, for example. I lose cells every day. My skin cells are very tiny, so we cannot notice it. But it's happening every time. So my loose cells on my skin, when I do, <clears throat> The stem cells that are under the skin are triggered by the brain that we have lost cells. We're supposed to have 100%. Now we have 80% because 20% have been lost. So the, the brain triggers the, the, the skin cells, stem cells, to go there and give birth to brand new skin cells. So that takes naturally. Na it's natural. It's natural. Everything is natural. That's what happens naturally. So, but with age, like we're talking outside, like we, but with age and with all the rest of the all uh, environmental factors, what happens is that the stem cells begin to lose their power. They begin to lose their strength. Then they're not able to replenish or re, 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 refill back the cells anymore. And uh, let's take, for example, let's say the eyes. Let's say the eyes are, they have cells, cone cells, rod cells, and the retina, everything, they're all cells in the eyes. If the cells are failing because of age or whatever, what happens is that the stem cells normally replaces them. But with time, they have difficulty in replacing the lost cells. So that's why you begin to have, I cannot see very well. So what do they do? They fall back on external devices to help them, spectacles, eyeglasses. But using glasses is not bad. But it doesn't really put back the cells in the eye so that the person will be So what can put it back? So stem cells normally put it back. So oh. what happens that because we've lost cells in our, we lose cells every day, cells are being replaced. But like I said, with age and with time, they, they don't come back in full measure. Mm. So when they don't come back in full measure, you have a deficit. Then over the years, deficits keep taking place. But there are some parts of the body that begin to have more deficit than others. And that's where you have diseases. Diabetes, kidney problem, glaucoma, sickle cell, cancer. Are, are you cancer implying that when people, on, on. when people do this therapy, yes. uh, all those things that you mentioned just now okay. uh, will vanish? Yes, they will. Or it will allow them to manage it well. No, it goes beyond managerial. Okay. It goes beyond, beyond managerial. The idea is that um, stem cells, because it has different fields, uh, there's what's called the embryonic stem cells, that's taken from um, a five or seven day old embryo. Scientists extract the stem cells and they keep it in what they call stem cell banks. Mm -hmm. You don't have that here. I don't think it's here, but although they're trying to bring it in the country, right? So in case the person has a problem, they pick up the stem cells and they use it for treatment. So how do they use it? They inject it into that affected area in question. Let's example, let's say the person had the fire burn, the skin burn. So they inject into the skin. The stem cells, first of all, recognize the cell in question. Skin cells, then it begins to what differentiate into skin cells and covers up. It takes time. Okay, it's, it's gradual. It's gradual. Then we also have what they call the embryonic stem cell. That's uh, okay, I've talked about that. The, what, what, the, what's the relationship between this uh, therapy and, um, and plants? 
Okay, the, the, um, we, humans naturally are supposed to are dependent on plants. If you check the scriptures very well, sorry I'm summarizing, but back in the ancient days, humans were dependent on plants. It was after God said we should not start taking meat after the flood. So even garden of, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were dependent on plants. So the, 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 the scientist who discovered this particular, is, is ours is plant stem cell, right? It's plant stem cell. We have the embryonic, we have the bone marrow transplant, which is very popular. But the one we are into is the plants themselves, and it's going from Switzerland. So the, the, the specialty and the relationship is that they found out that during the research, they found out that this particular species of apple is called, it's an 18th century apple. It's called Utwila spatloba, or Swiss apple. You can do your research on the internet. It's so unique that it has the same epigenetic factor as that of the humans themselves. And nobody else would have done that except nature. You understand so the scientists discovered this and they started to now do more research and they extracted it with a technology called phytoceltech right when it is extracted um, it looked like they are hibernated they look like powder liposomal phytoceltech but they're not ordinary powder they are cells that are just resting so when they they go into the body the brain recognizes that this is this plant stem cell but yeah we can it can utilize it for the body so since the body has deficit in stem cells, they can also make do of the plant stem cell that's coming from this particular um, um, therapy. It's, ah. they, they, they sink w would properly. There no side effects? There are no single side effects. Not, nada, nada. There's none. And we're so sure about this because over the past, say in 2008, 9, 10 to date, not a single soul has ever complained of any side effect. None. The only the side effect you have you look more beautiful, you look more handsome, and you look just, you look great. But there are no single side effects. And um, I, because of uh, Decorum, I cannot mention them of the company, but the company has even staked out a one million US dollars, let me repeat that again, not Naira, one million US dollars liability insurance claim for anybody world over, not just Nigeria, not just Africa, world over, that if anybody has a side effect, they can approach the company, and they can tell them that this affected the person, the person will be given a one billion US dollar. But I tell you, from that time to date, not a single soul has complained. Rather, we're having testimonies in Nigeria, in oh, England, okay. Zimbabwe, okay. Indeed everywhere. Indeed, you want um, <laughs> Lagosians to embrace this therapy. Okay. Um, I have the notion, I might be wrong, okay. that it will be quite expensive. Well, when you, if you, the term expensive, it's relative, right? Um, like, uh, the idea, one of the things that you have to understand is when you talk about things that are good, that are very potent, a lot of um, expertise, skill set have gone into that. And that costs money, right? So when you compare stem cell therapy to the aspirin in the, in the market, they're not the same. When you compare that same stem cell with that of uh, um, supplements, which are not bad, I mean, they are very good. They're not the same category. The same thing with drugs. They're not the same category. Stem cell is way up there, way up there, because a lot of ingenuity have gone into it. So when people say it's expensive, first of all, you calculate um, if you are treating people that have a health challenge, let's say kidney problem, that person will, will only be treated for kidney problem only. But when you're taking the stem cell therapy, it is multi For kidney problem? Yes, it goes beyond kidney. Mm. It goes, goes beyond all parts of the body. Somebody has kidney problem, what do they do next? Go for dialysis. It's not bad. Dialysis is good. But dialysis will not solve the problem permanently. You have to depend will, on will dialysis. Will stem solve it? Yes. Permanently. Because, because the, the organ is Because it, it's appearing to me like a magic. It's, it is because it's, it, to me too, it was scared, scary. And, and, but like I said, I'm the kind of person that do research. And I found out that, like, um, like in the United States, in 2009, under the Obama administration, because Obama, in the, before the Bush, I mean, under the Bush administration, I, I, I want us to there was a ban on stem cells. Because it, it sounds so sweet. And um, <laughs> what are the attitude, or what has been the attitude of um, people towards this uh, therapy? People, 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 are they embracing people it? People have been embracing it. They, they have been embracing it. With, um, a lot of people use it. And they get results. Even sickle cell. And sometimes we try to talk to people, but because it's difficult to for change the mindset. Is it not um, 
uh, genotype. Bone marrow transplant. Yeah, transplant? the bone marrow transplant is another form of stem cell. Oh. And that costs you do millions. But you can get the same plant stem cell to do the same result. And you're like, like they say in um, the proverb, what do they find for Sokoto? They oh. for Sokoto. And that's exactly what's happening. But it's, it, it, we'll get there. Well, like this program right now is more like a um, sensitization um, episode. We're trying to sensitize the public. Uh, people are coming in, getting involved. People are, are amazed. Uh, like my own testimony, uh, my tooth grew back. I know this sounds strange. Nobody uh, will tell how you, do you, how do you mean? But it grew back. How? Okay, tooth was out. Okay. And I was using the, the product, can't mention the name. I was just using the product because I thought it was the conventional supplement or whatever. Behold, three weeks later, you know, there's a way your tongue knows where the tooth is, is, is missing. So I went back. I was like, this, I mean, where's this thing that I thought was off? It was back. I didn't believe it. I went to the minute I was checking. While I was still doing that, my uncle, who's about, he was 68 years old then. I mean, he's an elderly man called me and said, do you know my, my tooth grew back? I'm like, that's exactly what I experienced. And people have been talking about this same thing. So people are embracing it. Mm. Not even here, people have cancer. I got a testimony recently of someone in Lecky, and I, 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 she got powerful testimonies are growing. Not just here in Nigeria, even in US and England, in different parts of the world, but it's still very, it's a nascent stage, nascent stage. So people are still finding it difficult to embrace it, to understand it. But okay, those, that those, those, those they, practicing they the it. conventional medicine, yes. uh, what does, what's the relationship like? And are they, are they, are they believing in this too? Okay, um, one thing about medical scientists, which is very good, they don't just believe everything you tell them they must do. They must what they have. Yeah, research and Empirical, everything. They, yeah, it must be researched. And our products have been researched already by the people in Switzerland. When you mention Switzerland, we're not talking about, they're talking about standard people that deal with standard stuff right they, they, they have done their research everything is already done oh. so we for um some some of them are embracing it crazily they're like they didn't know this was existing and they're they even sometimes you know offering to their patients when they have tried all areas and they cannot get it done or sometimes um they just tell you no we can't and maybe because of the the quacks the quack type that have been existent before, because I can't blame anybody. A lot of when, when you have faced a lot of quacks, you tend to think that everybody are the same. But I always say something, and that's my philosophy of life. Don't believe anything. Let me, let me rephrase it. Don't um, insult anything and don't praise anything until you do your research. Okay. Do so your research. What's, then you what's, what's, what will be the future of medicine uh, with this uh, stem cell therapy now? The future, I really can't get that question, but the fact of the matter is, even like I said, the United States have made a prediction. People are already, if you, if you check, if you draw a graph in um, developed countries, stem cell is climbing the ladder. Mm. It's climbing. It's, it's climbing. It's, it cannot, you cannot stop it. Even if people say, even if medical scientists say, ah, it's not, the people are going to embrace it. So the future is, a lot of people are going to shift towards it because it's cheaper. Like ours is far cheaper than the conventional stem cell that goes into 10, 20 million. Ours is like 1.2 million, 600, 400, even 200,000 can get stem cell therapy, plant stem cell from Switzerland. Very, very potent, can get that. So the future is that uh, people will embrace it because people want results. Nobody cares about just getting excessive drugs into the body. Uh, like I said, drugs are important, but people are looking for things that are going to be long lasting and give them the result they want. People are, people are in pain. You need to really go to the hospital and see people that are in pain and they have the money, but money is not enough to solve your problem. You also need to have what they call the, the know-how. So the, the know-how is what we're giving out and we're trying to sensitize people as much as possible. All right, uh, we must thank you very much. Uh, Victor, natural health expert. Uh, has been able to educate us on the prospect of stem cell therapy, which is otherwise known as um, regenerative medicine, its advantages, and of course, how people can go about it uh, compared to the conventional medicine. It's not as if we are trying to rubbish conventional medicine, but this is uh, an innovation that we feel that people should embrace, and that is why 
we invited him here today to come and educate all of us. Uh, we thank you once again for coming on Lagos today. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. All right, as the show this afternoon, we'll be back again tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. My name is Ajibola Ojeshola. Do not forget that coronavirus is still very much with us. Wash your hands with soap and water, or better still, use hand sanitizers and ensure that you wear your face mask. Many thanks for watching the show. We'll see you again tomorrow. Palm oil is the product of oil palm tree, which consists of saturated and unsaturated fats, beta-carotene, vitamin E, and antioxidants. It is an edible vegetable oil derived from the mesocap of the oil palm fruit. The process of palm oil production involves getting fresh fruit bunches from the plantation, sterilizing and threshing of the bunches to free the palm fruit, mashing the fruit, and pressing out the crude palm oil. Palm oil is generally used for frying and cooking. It is naturally reddish in color because of its high beta-carotene content. However, crude red palm oil can be refined, bleached, and deodorized before use. Red palm oil helps reduce cholesterol levels, slow the progression of heart disease, boosts brain health, enhances vitamin A status, improves the skin and hair health. Palm oil also reduces oxidative stress helps in improving vision. It helps in preventing cardiovascular issues and reducing the risk of cancer. Palm oil also helps in treating malaria and high cholesterol. It helps in weight loss and increasing the body's metabolism. This is one oil that can hardly be avoided in every home on a daily basis, but must be used in moderation.